Hi everyone, welcome to AOP Tech on YouTube. Alyssa DeVito here, Tech Integration Coach. Today we're gonna to be taking a quick look on how you can use Google Slides to create posters for your classroom, either for you as, your, as the teacher or having students create custom posters. And it's really easy to do and a unique way to utilize Google Slides and some of the uh, image editing capabilities that falls into it. So I'm gonna exit out real quick here and I'm already in Google Slides. So if I take a look here, if I wanted this tile here, this slide to be my poster, for example, it's very easy to do. I'm gonna go up to file in the top left-hand corner and I'm gonna go down to the bottom of that file uh, category and I'm gonna select page setup. And you can see right now in page setup, I already have it selected as the standard uh, ratio there. There's also two widescreen ratios, but you can also select a custom ratio. So I'm gonna select that and it's already in inches. I could change that if I needed to, but inches works for us and say I wanted a 24 by 36 poster for my classroom. All that I needed to do is change that there and hit okay. And you're gonna see it kind of changes the format of this here. I can see that this image is a little bit compressed. So know that when you're changing the ratio and size of a Google slide page, some images may be clearer than others. So just be mindful of that when you are creating your poster. Afterwards, the easiest, I could print directly or I can download it and have it printed at say um, a school supply store that might have a higher resolution, a better printing situation. So if I go back to my file menu in the top left-hand corner, I'm gonna select file again. Either I could print this slide directly by using the print button there and selecting just that first slide, but most of us don't have printers that have the capability of printing a single poster format. So what I'm gonna do instead is I would select download as, and then I could download that slide that's now reformatted to be the size of our poster as a PDF or a JPEG. And most of the school supply, office supply stores will accept a PDF. If you download that, it will go into your downloads folder. Later on, you can go to their website, something like a Staples or an Office Max, um, and upload it there and have a custom poster that's printed just for you and your classroom, and it's beautiful. So just be mindful of the kind of images that you're using and making sure that you're respectful of copyright, uh, whether you yourself are creating these or you're having students create them. But it's a unique way to utilize Google Slides in a totally new way. So try it out today. Go ahead and create yourself a poster and decorate that classroom. Know that you can always follow us here at AOP Tech on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. You can follow and subscribe to our YouTube page and feel free to contact me as well uh, via email or on Twitter uh, for, with any questions that you have. We hope you have a great day.